First, I'd like to discuss how to properly calibrate your ITL-40. You're going to need a magnet. The ITL-40 has two magnetic switches, a left switch and a right switch, which are visible by two tiny dots on the display. To activate, take your magnet and push in. You will see two rows of LEDs light up. Do the right switch. Do not swipe, push in and pull out. If you do an improper calibration, you will see an X displayed on the screen and the display will go back to standard calibration mode. The ITL-40 can be calibrated in many different ways. We have a one-point calibration, a two-point calibration, a five-point calibration, and a nine-point calibration. The one-point is the easiest calibration method to use. The two-point would be the most common. The five and nine should be reserved for odd-shaped tanks. The five and nine-point calibration is, are only as good as the measurement device used to fill the water tank. We highly re recommend the two-point calibration. I'm actually going to walk you through a one point and a two point, and we'll start with the one point. To calibrate one point calibration, the sequence is right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. The number one is displayed, and now it shows full. Your unit is calibrated. Make sure you start with a full tank and the display will actually then calibrate the empty point which will be 0.55 volts or about a half inch of liquid in the tank. A two-point calibration is the most common method to calibrate your ITL-40. You can start with either an empty tank and then fill it or you can start with a full tank and then empty it. We're going to start with an empty tank first. To calibrate a two-point calibration with an empty water tank going to a full water tank. We're going to do the calibration sequence right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. It's going to read the number one, two, and then it'll tell you to set empty. So at this point, empty your water tank or make sure it is empty. I'm going to trigger the right-hand switch to set the empty point. Top two LEDs came on, and now it's scrolling the message set full. So go ahead and fill your water tank. And then trigger the right hand switch again. Two LEDs come on, and the whole display will be lit up showing full. For a two point calibration, when you want to start with a full tank, we have a different calibration sequence than the last one. And I also have a little trick for you. If your water tank is already full, you can either empty your water tank into a fold -a tank type thing, or if you have a second pressure transducer, unplug the harness from the pressure transducer that's already located in your tank and plug the harness into your second backup pressure transducer. This will actually simulate a empty tank situation. So it saves you from actually having to empty your water tank. Calibration sequence for a two-point calibration from full to empty is right, left, left, right, left, right, right, right. And number two displays and the display scrolls a message set full. Make sure your tank is full and then go ahead and Hit the right switch to set the full point. Two LEDs came on indicating you set it. And now it will scroll the message set empty. Empty your water tank or use the transducer trick I showed you. Once the tank is empty, trigger the right switch again. Top two LEDs come on. And now it will actually display with the cascading LEDs the empty status.